How's it going everybody? So today I have another algorithm tutorial for you. We are gonna go over the problem divide chocolate, which is primarily asked at Google. This problem involves the use of greedy and binary search. So it is a pretty difficult problem, but I'm gonna walk through it step by step. So our description says, you have one chocolate bar that consists of some chunks. Each chunk has its own sweetness given by the array sweetness. You want to share the chocolate with your K friends, so you start cutting the chocolate bar into K plus one pieces using K cuts. Each piece consists of some consecutive chunks. Being generous, you will eat the piece with the minimum total sweetness and give the other pieces to your friends. Find the maximum total sweetness of the piece you can get by cutting the chocolate bar optimally. So the main reason why I feel like this problem is so hard is because it's very difficult to understand what we're actually supposed to do. So first, let's just make sure we understand what we're required to do to solve this problem. So let's say we have K equal to three, and then we have a sweetness array with the numbers one, two, three, four, five. So K in this case is the number of friends that we have to share our chocolate bar with. You can also think of K as the number of cuts that we have to make to our chocolate bar in order to distribute it to all of our friends. So we're gonna have three friends, or you can think of it as we're making three cuts. And then our sweetness array is actually the size of our chocolate bar. So you can look at each index. So we have zero, one, two, three, four indices. That would be each section of the chocolate bar. And at each section, the number at that index is the sweetness level. So since we are being a good friend, we are going to cut this chocolate bar in an optimal way, K times, give the bigger pieces to our K friends, and then we are gonna take the smaller piece for ourselves. So we can say that we're always gonna have at least K plus one chunks. And that is because we, at minimum, we're going to make K cuts. So like I mentioned before, this involves the use of a greedy approach incorporating binary search. So let's walk through a full example as to how this algorithm is gonna work. So in a typical binary search, we have a low and high number, and then we perform the binary search between that range. So what is our low and high number in this case? Well, we need to find the maximum amount of sweetness that we can get. So what that means is that range that we're doing our binary search over is going to be a level of sweetness. So we have our low and high variables that we're going to need to initialize. Our low variable will always start at the number one. And that is because if we go back to the description, we can see that the constraints, it says that our sweetness at index i will always be in between the range of 1 to 10 to the fifth power. So we can always start our binary search at one sweetness level. So our low is initialized to 1. We could put our high number to start at 10 to the fifth because our constraint is between 1 to 10 to the fifth. However, there is a smarter way to do this. And that is if we were to add up all the numbers in our sweetness array and then divide it by K plus one, then that would give us the maximum total chunk that we could take for ourselves. So remember, K plus one in this case is the total amount of chunks that we will have in order to give all of our friends a piece of the chocolate bar as well as ourselves. So if we take the sum of all of the sweetness that we have in our chocolate bar and divide it by the total amount of chunks that we're going to have, high will always be initialized to the very maximum amount of sweetness that we could ever have. And so that narrows down the range that we have to perform a binary search over instead of just taking the 10 to the fifth. So the sum of all of our numbers in our sweetness array will be 15. And then if we divide that by K plus one, which would be four, that would be a total of three. All right, so now we have a choices array, which just has the range from one to three. So our low will start at one, and then our high is going to start at three. And now just like in a typical binary search, we need to calculate the midpoint. So that would be two in this case. So what that means is we need to verify 
if a sweetness level of two is going to allow us to split the chocolate bar k times and get us the maximum amount of sweetness and so to do that this is where the greedy approach comes in we need to loop over all of the elements in our sweetness array and determine how many chunks we can get that are of a maximum value of two, whichever number that we chose as our midpoint. So our mid is currently initialized to two, and then we also have two other variables, chunks and sum. Chunks in this case is going to tell us how many chunks of the chocolate bar that we're going to have after making the necessary cuts. And then our sum variable is going to keep track of what our sweetness level is as we are looping over our sweetness array. And the way we determine if we need to cut the chocolate bar is if our sum is greater than our mid. So if we look at our sweetness array, it is starting at index zero. So that means we are gonna say, okay, is sum plus that number that we're looking at less than our midpoint? Yes, it is because our sum is currently zero. So that means our sum is now one and then we move our index forward in our sweetness array. Now we're looking at the number two. We say, okay, is our sum plus the number two less than our mid? That is not true because that would be three. So what that means is we need to cut the chocolate bar. So we are going to increase our chunks variable and then reset our sum, we moved our index forward to the number three in our sweetness array. So we check if our sum plus the number three is less than our mid, it is not. So what that means is we need to cut our chocolate bar again. So we're gonna increase the chunks variable from one to two, and then we're going to reset our sum. We increase our index again to the number four, once again, our sum plus the number four is still greater than our mid, so we need to cut the chocolate bar again. So chunks gets increased to three, and then our sum is reinitialized. And then lastly, we move our index forward to the number five. The sum plus the number five is greater than our mid, so that means we increase chunks from three to four, and then our sum is now just equal to five. So our chunks right now is equal to four after iterating over all the numbers in our sweetness array. And then remember, we have K friends, which means that we need at minimum K plus one chunks in order to give K chunks of the chocolate bar to our friends and then one extra piece for us. So remember, we are trying to find the very maximum level of sweetness that we can take. So since our mid has been satisfied. It was able to cut up the chocolate bar in a way that all of us can get a piece. Then what that means is we need to move our range that we're looking forward. So what this boils down to is if our chunks is greater than or equal to K plus one, then that means we are going to set our low variable equal to mid. If that is not true, that means we were not able to satisfy making the K cuts and we need to set high equal to mid minus one. So our low gets set to two, our high stays the same, and then our mid chunks and some variables all get reset. So when we recalculate our mid, remember that we already checked the number two, right? So by default, we know our midpoint has to be at number three. So we can set mid equal to three, and then we're gonna perform the same logic as we did before. We loop over our sweetness array starting at index zero. So we say, is our sum, which is at zero right now, plus one greater than our mid, which is three? Yes, it is. So that means we set our sum equal to one. We move to the number two. We say, is the sum plus two less than or equal to our mid? That is true because that would be three. We move to index two, which is at the number three. So we say, is our sum plus three less than mid? That is not true. So what that means is we increase our chunks variable. And now we move to index three, which is at the number four. Our sum is now at four and that is greater than our mid. So we need to increase our chunks again 
So we move from two to three, and then we also move our pointer forward to the number five, and that is where we're gonna set our sum to five. Since our sum is currently greater than our mid, that means we increase our chunks variable again from three to four, and that means we are finished iterating over our sweetness array. So once again, our chunks is four, and that is exactly equal to k plus one. So what that means is we are going to set our low variable equal to our mid once again. And so now our low is currently at the number three. However, both low and high are looking at the same number, and that is our exit condition. So when our low and high ends up becoming equal, then we can just return low from our function, and that is our final answer. So for this example, three would be the maximum sweetness that we can get. So we have an integer array sweetness and an int k. We're going to be returning an integer, which is the maximum sweetness that we can get. And so to start things off, we're going to initialize the low and high variables that we talked about. So we can say int low, it's always going to start at one. And then our high is going to be the sum of our sweetness array divided by k plus one. So we can say arrays.stream of sweetness dot sum divided by k plus one. And now we're gonna perform our binary search. So we're gonna say while our low is less than high, this is where we calculate our mid, and that is going to be equal to low plus high plus one divided by two. So I'll go over where this plus one comes from in a sec, but first let's just finish out the binary search. So we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna say if we can split and so can split is going to be a separate function that we write, and it's kind of the greedy approach that we went over where we loop over all of the elements in our sweetness array. So if we can split based on that midpoint, so that means we're gonna pass in our sweetness array, we're gonna pass in K, and then we're also gonna pass in our mid. If that is true, if we can split it with mid, that means that we found a number that we can get for ourselves. And so that means we're gonna set low equal to whatever mid is. So we can just say low is equal to mid. If this is not true, then high is going to be equal to mid minus one. So this plus one comes from the fact that our low is always going to just be set to mid. So we could get in an infinite loop if our low just keeps being selected over and over again. So this plus one will allow us to kind of get out of that stuck state. Because if mid is a valid number, we obviously don't want to exclude it from our binary search because we're eventually going to return low from our function. And that's why we just set low to mid and we don't do low equals mid plus one. We have to do it equal to mid. And so now all we need to do, let's just come down here, return low. We're eventually going to return that from our function. And now we just need to implement this can split function. So let's come down here. We'll say private. We'll say Boolean can split. We're going to pass in our sweetness array, int k, and our mid. And I just realized I called this int k. This just needs to be k. And so now we're going to initialize the other two variables that we talked about. We had a chunks variable and a sum variable. And now we're going to loop over all of the elements in our sweetness array. So we can say sweetness.length going up to i++. And now we need to sum up all of the numbers in our sweetness array. So we're gonna do sum plus equals sweetness at index i. And now we just need to check if that sum is greater than the mid that we have selected. So we can say if our sum is greater than or equal to mid, what that means is now we for sure need to cut our chocolate bar there. So we can say plus plus our chunks 
and then reset our sum back to zero. And then when we come out of this for loop, we just need to check if our chunks is greater than or equal to k plus one. Because remember, if our chunks is greater than or equal to k plus one, that means we can split the chocolate bar in order to give k pieces to our friends and have one piece left over for us. And so now let's just make sure that our solution works. And there we go. So our time complexity is going to be n times log of m, where n is the number of elements that we have in our sweetness array. On line 12 to 21, we're going to be doing that for loop over all of the numbers in our sweetness array. And then the log of m comes from line 4 to line 8. We are performing a binary search, and m in this case is the range between low and high inclusive. And so for every number that we choose in our binary search, we're going to have to loop over n items. So that's where the n times log of m comes from. And then as for our space complexity, it's going to be constant. We don't initialize any extra memory in this algorithm. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was a very fun problem to go over. I thought it would be easier to explain. I hope it was easily understood. This is a very challenging problem just to understand alone. So if you stuck all the way through the video, good on you for doing that. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more content like this in the future. I plan to release multiple times a week. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.